That's a lot of comments, guys. Alright, we're gonna pick one person. It seems a bit strange to be naming this Swampert after my name, but yeah, uh, thanks Jason for com commenting on the last video. You are now a shiny Swampert. Congrats, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to It's All Relative, guys. Today's episode, we are going to be looking at Team Rocket Go or Team Go Rocket, however you pronounce it, right? So currently, it seems like Team Rocket is just done with New York and they're coming globally, which in about 10 minutes time, every single Pokestop that you see here on the screen is going to be, well, invaded with Team Rocket, basically. So there's going to be shadow Pokemon for you to catch in every single uh, Pokestop from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. and we're going to do that in about 10 minutes. So before we do that, uh, just keep in mind there's also shiny coughing, shiny Ekans, which I have been trying to catch for like the past day, just couldn't find any, so maybe we'll try to do that later as well. And not to mention, there is some quests that we just completed, like few research stuff, that's a bunch of stuff, let's just go through them really quickly. Sinnoh still, not bad. Um, encounter, oh man. Nah, shiny Groudon though. Okay, let's just complete this tree. Squirtle. Squirtle. And last but not least, Voltron. Alright, um, we still have 9 minutes before we go, and actually there is this um, Troubling Situation quest, which is the Team Rocket Special Research quest. There's only 4 chapters, uh, we haven't done the first one yet, so we're kind of waiting for this. So, evolve 2 Pokemon and power out a Pokemon 5 times. Alright, let's just do that really quickly. I already set up um, which Pokemon to evolve, so... First one we're going to evolve is a brand new one. Actually, these two are going to be brand new ones, so a C dot. I don't have the final evolution, which is a Shift Tree. Combi! which evolved to a Vespa Queen if you have the female version, which actually was quite hard for me to find. So we're just going to do that right now. Here we go. Combi 2, Vespa Queen. Finally, this took too long for me to find and evolve. Bam. Nice. Actually, this looks really badass. Like, if you, look, if you zoom in and you look at the face of the Vespa Queen, it's so cool. It's so cool. Yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, we're gonna do the second evolution, um, and boom, shift tree, guys. You know, I just realized that his foot is like the Japanese slippers. I never realized that. That is so cool. Huh. I guess I'm just quite late on this. I'm so sorry, guys. And let's see what we get. And then after that, we're gonna power up Pokemon really quickly. Murkrow. I actually haven't had a chance to power up my Swampert yet, so I guess we'll just do that five times since, yeah, it doesn't really take that much. Five. Nice. I didn't realize you need to catch this before you can com complete the chapter, you know? Alright, alright. Last one, last one. Come on, come on, come on. Again, could be a shiny. Not a shiny. Alright, let's move on to chapter two. I'm not doing the reading, guys. I, I'm just very lazy to read through. But here we go. The second chapter is two, catch two shadow Pokemon, which we're going to do in a minute, and defeat three Team Go Rocket Grunts. Which is exactly what we're going to do in about 4 minutes. <laughs> and there's a lot of Shadow Pokemon that we're going to try to catch. Like the Stratini, that is Snorlax, that is the Tree Starters and Zubat. To be honest, I actually already caught a couple. So as you can see, I already caught a Rattata, a Zubat and a Squirtle. I'm just still looking for that Snorlax and Dratini. So hopefully we can find that after this. Okay, so it's 4pm and actually something did happen. As you can see, every single Pokestop right now is fidgeting with that little dark part of the Pokestop, right? So yeah, uh, every single Pokestop right now has the Team Rocket invasion. So yeah, let's just go check out one of them near the park. Uh, Team Rocket, you guys really pick a bad weather to do this. Okay, we are currently at a park that has three Pokestop and a Team Rocket. Well, three Team Rocket that we're going to encounter. First off, there is a shiny coughing, not a shiny coughing. Sorry about that. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right. So who's there? Quit listening on us. So for every Pokestop that we try to battle Team Rocket, they have a catchphrase. Like this one is Roar. How that sound, right? So this represents what kind of Pokemon they're going to be using. In this case, this person is going to be using Dragon type Pokemon because Roar is Dragon type. There's a list on Reddit somewhere. I'm pretty sure a lot of people compiled this already. So uh, we're going to be using our dragon killer Pokemon, so I'm guessing we're going to use Mamoswine a lot. So let's try to see what happens if we use three Mamoswine because I'm not sure what's going to happen to be honest. Okay, Dratini. I guess we're going to be able to catch a Dratini from this because based from my past experience, the first Pokemon is usually what you're going to be catching 
from this person. Whoa, holy crap, what is going on? Damn, the Dratini is strong. Okay, alright, so, you know, I really like the new uh, PvP kind of um, thing. You don't need to tap it too often, you know. That's, that was kind of lame, you know, if you ask me. Another Dratini, and Dratini is going to kill me in a minute, yeah. Damn, that Dratini is... A Dragonite, holy shit. Okay, please, oh my god. That Dragonite did so much damage, holy shit. Do you guys see that? Okay, I think there's a high chance that we're going to die here. Yep. Two hits, three hits, and I'm dead. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try it again. We're gonna try it again. Okay, now it's time for Dragonite versus Dragonite. I hope it doesn't kill me too quickly. Uh, I need to get off my outrage as soon as I can. And come on, is it? Oh my god, I died. You kidding me? I died. Wow, this Dragonite is strong. Not gonna lie. Okay, I need to get off this Ice Beam before I die. Come on, come on, come on. Get off the Ice Beam, get off the Ice Beam. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on now, come on. Oh, we did it. We did it. That was not easy. And I heard there's a lot of Team Rocket that actually have like very strong Pokemon and this is considered simple already. So yeah. Alright, at least we won our first one. Not easy, they, they kind of made the AI really difficult now. So, and keep in mind, you need to use Revive for any Pokemon that died. So I don't have a lot of Revive, so we're kind of in trouble after this. So. Okay, we're gonna be catching a Jatini. So after this, we're gonna evolve it into a Shadow Dragonite just to see how cool it looks, you know? Okay, cool. Wow, it's been 13 minutes and we only did one battle. That is kind of sad. All right, so let's see the IV for this guy. This guy is crap, oh my god. And we are done with the first one. Okay, let's go to the second one. Okay, here we are at the second one. Uh, let's see what they're gonna be saying so that we can find out exactly what Pokemon they're gonna be using, right? My bird Pokemon wants to battle with you, so it's Bird type Pokemon, so use electricity or any ice type Pokemon. Okay, cool. Um, before we battle, let's do some revives first. I realized I don't have a lot of bird counter Pokemon. You know? Okay, Zubat? Uh, oh my god, the Zubat does so much damage. That is crazy. Wow, you see the damage on this Zubat? What the heck? Oh my god, the Skobat. Ah, faster. Oh my god. If my Ice Beam doesn't kill this Skobat, my Mewtwo is gonna die. Just like that. Oh, thank god. Thank god. Okay, cool. Mewtwo did his job. And there's a Crobat. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna use our Jolteon just because we want to see how strong it can do with Thundershock. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's doing much, so I picked the wrong choice because I'm an idiot. And that is it for my Jolteon. <laughs> Okay, I'm not sure if I can get Blizzard out in time because it's gonna kill me before I can use Blizzard. Wait, why am I using Surf? Why am I using Surf? What is this? No, I used Surf when I wasn't planning to. Wait, wait, can I kill it though? I think I can kill it. <gasps> I can kill it. <laughs> that was scary. That was so scary, holy crap. And we got Zubat. Not the most exciting catches. This guy is using normal type Pokemon, so I'm guessing it's just Rattata, but I'm host I was hoping for Snorlax, so I'm not sure exactly what is the quote I'm looking for, for it to be a Snorlax. Do you guys manage to find a 100% uh, Shadow Pokemon? I, I'm not sure. I think maybe you purify it, it'll be a 100%, but did you find a good one yet? Cool, we got it, really did 10, so that's nice. Our hero now has one extra Pokeball. And it's a Rattata, okay. Oh. Ah. <clears throat> No, it's not. We're done with the second chapter. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Ekans. Last one. Let's do it. Right, come on, come on. Coughing. Are you guys having the same problem as I am, which is basically unable to revive a lot of your party because you ran out of revives? Don't kill my Kyogre. I don't have enough revives. Please don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh my god, you gotta kill it. Okay, we found something different. This guy says winners for winners. This grunt, right? But I didn't expect a Charmander to come out. Now, this is no problem because I don't have a Charmander and let's use a Focus Blast and kill it. This is kind of sad, don't you think? Mewtwo versus Charmander and Mewtwo is kind of like dying or like on par. Okay, cool. Alright, what's next? Charmelia. Okay, we're gonna get the whole entire Char family. And I gotta use my Ice Beam already. Yeah. It's not gonna be effective but I gotta do some damage here, you know. 
Damage control, guys. Yep, not effective. This is a bad move. I should have chosen properly. Uh, okay, we'll use our Dragonite first. And then we'll use a Kyogre for last against Charizard, okay? Or maybe our Dragonite can kill it too? Maybe. We'll see. Charizard. There we go. Okay. Outrage. Nice. Oh, I guess we don't need our Kyogre at all. Well done. We got our Shadow Charmander. Hopefully it's a good IV one. Okay, come on. We have a Charmeleon, not a Charmander. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not expect that at all. Really, I didn't expect that at all. Screw Charmander, man. Get a Charmeleon one instead. All right, let's see how's the IV. Oh my God, the IV is not good, especially the defense one. Damn. This one is also saying the same thing, but I'm guessing it's gonna be using a Squirtle, War Turtle, and a Blast Toys. Okay, maybe we'll get a War Turtle out of this. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. War Turtle? Oh, Ivysaur. Huh. I guess this guy's really mixing it up. Cool. Second one down. Let's see the last one. It's a Charizard. So this guy really, really mixed things up. Water, grass, and fire. Okay, let's use our Dragonite. Okay, that's not bad. Still don't have a Snorlax, yo. Okay, five balls. What we... Squirtle. I already have a Squirtle. Okay, we found a new guy. Don't tangle with us. It's grass type. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be using a lot of grass type. Uh, I'm guessing grass type is not really effective against our dragon type. So yeah, why not? I mean, we took down the Ivysaur just now, right? Okay, if we can get a Bulbasaur, in this case, we have three starters and a Dratini, so not bad. I would say uh, we are doing quite well in catching all the Shadow Pokemon starters. Okay, the last one should be a Venusaur. Nah, it's just an Ivysaur, huh? Okay, guess this guy isn't that hard. Whoa, I really like Bulbasaur's eyes like this. It's so cool looking. Last battle of the day, we're fighting a Golbat as the first Pokemon. What? This guy must be strong and I'm, I didn't swap out my Pokemon. Why did I swap out my Pokemon? And triple Golbat. Holy shit, this guy means business. Yeah, four Pokemon for a Golbat. Nice. Golbat, man. 25 CP Golbat, you kidding me? <laughs> oh, we didn't even claim this reward yet. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna read this. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Purify three shadow Pokemon, purify a fire, water, or grass type shadow Pokemon. And actually the purification looks kind of cool. Very... Yeah, I really like the animation, sorry. 3000 Stardust, nice. 3000 EXP, nice. Okay, the reward is nice. Silver Pineapple Berry, I like that, I like that. And I don't know what's happening here, and we just completed everything, wow. Well done guys, just like that we completed the whole thing. <laughs> We're gonna evolve our Charmeleon to our Charizard. Leave a comment guys, this Charizard could be, could be named after you. You know, do you, I'm not gonna purify this Charizard, it looks too badass, you know. Damn, look at that. Shadow Charizard. I really like the aura, you know. The Shadow Aura, very cool. And sadly the move he has is Fire Spin and frustration. <laughs> okay, we're gonna evolve the next one, which is our Dratini, all the way to Dragonite. Again, this could be named after you. Very cool. Unfortunately, there's no shiny shadow Pokemon. That would be very cooler, but that's not the case. So, IVs are quite bad, but doesn't matter. We have shadow Pokemon, Dragonite, and Charizard. So yeah, I would say it's very, very productive day in terms of this whole entire event, right? So anyway, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. There's a uh, Ekans. Not shiny. Alright, so that'll be it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys will manage to find your shadow Pokemon. And let me know, did you find a shadow Snorlax? Because I didn't. Yeah, anyway, catch you guys in the next episode, which is Route's Community Day. Yeah, I'll see you guys then. Bye.